the Excel solution that we're going to talk about today is simple. And that's the point, because the larger message is about overthinking. My friend Sarah walked all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin to Portland, Oregon to ask me a question. That's a 666 hour walk. But she made it. She got here. She was tired. And she asked me this question. How do I take four scores and average the top three? I started thinking power query, unpivot, dynamic arrays, all kind of sexy stuff, but stop. No, 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 no. I was thinking too much. Here was my honest first thought. I made up some fake data. Turn it into a table. Okay. Get rid of those filter buttons. Equals large. The array here. Comma. One. The first largest. Close parentheses. Plus. Large. Comma. Two. Second largest. Plus. Large. Open parentheses. Again, comma, third largest. Close parentheses. Enter. That's not right because we want the average. So I'm going back. I want to put this all in parentheses. Close the parentheses. Divide by three. Um. That's how we take the largest three of four scores and get an average. I showed that to Sarah and she said, yep, that's exactly what I needed. All the unpivot and power query and dynamic arrays that I had been thinking about, that would have been more showing off. But this quick answer using the large function got us through. I just had to set aside my ego and get her an answer. Sarah wanted me to let her husband know that she started walking back an hour ago and she will be back home in Milwaukee about the middle of next month. And all of you out there, if you see Sarah walking back, wave, say hello. Thank her for that Excel question, all right? See you in the next video.